Hey guys, it's Luciano Sable with Aspiring Hollywood on the set of The Cynical Life. You've seen the interview with uh, Ashley Avis a couple of weeks back. And now we're here on the set where they're shooting in Marina del Rey. With us today is... Justin Tate. Justin Tate. Keep an eye on Justin because he's a phenomenal, great actor. You've seen the, the scene with him and the headshot and uh, Ashley's suggestion that uh, next time it should be uh, maybe shirtless. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know about that. We'll see. I've got to start running more. So what are you guys doing today? What are you shooting? Uh, we've, we've shot the, uh, the first scene that we did was uh, Plum and I. We were having dinner, so um, we just finished that. Now they're doing... To be honest, I don't know what they're doing. I'm on break. I'm just hanging out, man. The life of an actor is, ladies and gentlemen, right there. You have to uh, hurry up and wait. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So t tell me about your character. Um, Blaze is... Uh, Blaze is like... He, I kind of... The way that I kind of see him, he's, he's like the Fonz in 2011. Uh, you know, Fonz had the leather jacket and the, and the jeans and everything. And that, you know, that idea, I think, has evolved... Uh, he's he's a businessman, he uh, and he's good. Um, but I he thinks he's an actor because he did a little bit on a reality series and he was the first one voted off. And you know, autobiographically, I think it all makes sense. So. On the set of the Cynical Life with two great actors here, uh, you just met uh, Justin, who plays Blaze, and now we have with us. Hi, I'm Chelsea Ray Bernier. I play Plum. And tell us about your character. My character. Um, well, Blaze is my on again, off again boyfriend in this, and uh, I am one of the roomies. Harper moves in with her little sister Sparrow, and I'm one of her silly roommates, uh, Jana Van Heerdom, who plays Jessica and I. We have a lot of funny moments together. We're very similar in this. Right now, I'm in this <laughs> awesome getup because we're filming a, a webcam show, dance party. So uh, I, I see that that's yeah. very colorful. So yes, it is. It's awesome. It's fabulous. You need to get a wide shot of this one. <laughs> I don't know how close where the frame ends, but she looks great right now. Um, I moved. I've been in LA about four years now. Um, I think that the most important thing with where the industry is right now is really to market yourself well. Get a website. It's so easy. You know, put stuff up on YouTube. Just make things available so that you know when your agents or when a casting director, someone you meet wants to see what you do, you're able to be like, check me out here. Because so many times, so many people are like, oh yeah, I don't have anything. How how can you be an actor and like not have anything to show for it? So I think that's really important right now. Any words of wisdom? W uh, words of wisdom? Um, train. Train, yeah, train, awesome. train, train, train. It is, you know, train before you even think of stepping into the room sometimes. It's better to go in equipped than, uh, than just playing it by ear. I think it's good to have, you know, creative control on, on things artistically if you're, if you're an artist. I get I'm Camille Cregan. Hi, I'm Jana Van Heerdam. Very nice, and tell us what are your roles in the cinema? I play Sparrow, Harper's sister so that she moves in with, and this is my roommate. Hi, I play Jessica uh, Plum, the blonde, cute little blonde. Her and I are kind of counterparts and work off of each other. We just finished um, our dance. Um, basically, we, have, we upload to YouTube every night for our viewers to see, to watch us dance. And Harper comes home from a really bad date and sees us dancing, and it's just like, wow, what else? You know, because we're crazy, they're like the crazy roommates, and she just is watching us kind of, she's our producer. I'm for a little more sane than the other two. Yeah, we're not so much sane. Yes. And we, um, we sell our eggs to an in vitro clinic to make money in the meantime. So maybe, you know. Very nice. Sounds, sounds like a very profitable business. Apparently it is. It is. Yeah. Apparently you can make quite a fortune doing it. So again, Aspiring Hollywood is uh, really about promoting the entertainment industry and promoting the, uh, the independent, I should say, uh, up-and-coming filmmakers. Do you have any advice, any words of wisdom for, for people that may want to uh, get into the acting profession? Uh, keep doing it. You know, don't ever give up. You just have to go, like, full force and keep going or, you know, you'll crash with the rest of them, I guess. Yeah, exactly. You can't, Someone yeah. once said to me, the people that don't make it are the people that quit. Yeah. So definitely true. Well, there you go, folks. You heard it from uh, uh, the great actors of The Cynical Life. Don't ever, ever give up. And I can guarantee you that that's good advice. Life. We're here with two very distinguished people that are involved with this, uh, with this show. Uh, one is uh, Ashley Avis, who you've seen before on our show. You actually 
scroll down and click on her picture to see her interview. Um, and, uh, and the other one is David. David Ballum. I play Benny, her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Very nice. Well, welcome to Aspiring Hollywood. We appreciate Thank you me. being here. And Ashley, welcome back. Thank you so much. How are things going today? Things are going great. It's, uh, it's a really packed day. It's our last day in this location, so we're just trying to get like 10 shots out of the way. So it's intense. Very nice. So tell us about what you're shooting right now. Uh, right now we're shooting a scene where Plum and Jessica, who are the two actresses, are shooting a webcam and it's, it's called Plum and Jessica's Dance Party. So they're in like workout attire and they have this webcam thing. They maxed out on selling their eggs. So this is the next <laughs> business venture to make rent money in Los Angeles. Very nice. And David, tell me about your character. Uh, basically, I play a rock star who's kind of a little over the hill and is trying to do anything he can to get back on top, um, including a fake British accent, <laughs> which is pretty ridiculous. Um, but yeah, pretty much I just, I'm her ex-boyfriend and I'm trying to kind of get back into her life however I can. Right. And are you a musician in real life? I am not. I'm just a very good actor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And I think we're going to see some of these shots on screen. You're going to have to send us the, uh, the finished product so we can, yeah. Any, any parting words for Aspiring Hollywood? Um, pretty much just watch The Cynical Life. It's going to be a great series. Um, it's great writing, great acting, great cast and crew. And a lot of love is going into this production, so... Now, I'm sure that there, uh, somewhere out there, there's an actor, an aspiring actor, who wants to play a musician on a show just like The Cynical Life with a fake British accent. So what, what advice would you have for an aspiring actor who wants to do that? Don't work too hard on the accent <laughs> and just practice guitar. Very That's nice. pretty much it. <laughs> nice. And Ashley, thank you so much uh, for having us on your set today. We really appreciate it. Do you have any uh, last uh, parting words? Just with this project, everybody said it was impossible. If you're trying to do something, just don't listen to those people that say that. Just go for it, no matter what. Do, do your project, you know, jump into the accent, play, and have fun. If it's not fun, it's not worth doing so. And check out the Cynical Life website, which is cynicallife.com. Yes, and we're very excited to have The Cynical Life on Aspiring Hollywood folks. Please visit thecynicallife.com, and we can't wait till, uh, to see the finished product. Thank you so much. Of course, and until next time, I'm Luciano Saber for Aspiring Hollywood. Thanks for watching.